Okay, so welcome back. In the last video we looked at loading this uh, character creation box into our um, page as in a form of a plugin. And we're going we're now going to learn how to remove this box. So in the last video we created this function called load plugin with a variable of x and we create this um, div here, this plugin div using the before method so now we're going to learn how to remove that um, created div from the page so we'll create a new uh, function and just call it, call it unload plugin and it's going to be a simple one line we're targeting the div that um, contains the ID of plugin <coughs> we're going to make it fade out slowly before removing the div so by using this remove um, method <coughs> we are actually removing this target from the page completely so now if we come back over to the create uh, character box PHP file and up here we have that close um, tag that close a tag we're just going to add a on click event listener or an on click event equals unload plugin so now when we come over to here and we refresh this and we click create a new character uh, when we click close we should see that the box fades out and then it's removed from the page altogether okay it happened a bit fast The, pay, the box has been removed. If we come to an ex, in, it, inspect the element of the page, we tell when we click the create new character. You can see right here that before the body uh, tag at the div with the ID of body, a new div is created, and that's with got a um, ID of plugin. so if we just shrink this down so we can see the close now when I click the close this div right here will completely vanish and be removed from the page like so <coughs> okay so to fix that minor issue of the box being destroyed before it's fully um, faded out in the fade out function here after we declare it going slow we add a comma followed by function with the open and close parenthesis followed by an open um, curly brace and we put in there this dot remove and close the curly brace now this by doing this it, we create the right effect that we want so when we click create new character it fades in we click close it fades out and then the div is removed okay so we're going to start at the top here with the character name and we're going to work our way down <coughs> and start programming the Function, the various functions of the character creation form. Uh, so the first thing we're going to look at is the character name and we're going to um, check the name in a database to make sure that it doesn't exist and also check to make sure that it's only using certain characters. So the 
um, conditions I've put on the character name is that there it's got to be five characters or more and there are alphanumeric characters only so that's A to Z and 0 to 9 so we close that off for a minute <coughs> and we come over to our character.php page and we're going to create a new function and call just call it check uh, character name so inside this check character name function I've got our, the Ajax method here uh, we've got the type as post the URL I've left blank for now and in the data section we've got the name which equals the va uh, value of x and a mode of validate character and this is going to run a lot like when we um, validated our email and password <coughs> and on the success we're outputting a message and the message will go in here so if we set up a new PHP script Oopsie. and we'll save this inside the plugin folder and create a character and what we'll do is we'll call it character uh, create character box dot function dot php so we know that these two files will be linked together so we'll enter the URL there's plugin create character create character box dot function dot php <coughs> so now we go over to here and we will initiate our connect um, connection to the database and we'll go ahead and create a new function a new PHP function of validate character So inside this function we are just going to go back go to our register.php page and where we've got our validate email. <coughs> We're going to just take this if condition here and paste it right inside there and then edit the preg match. Just so it, so it checks for A to Z, uh, capitalized and lowercase, and zero to nine. <coughs> and we we'll just put character okay. format oh, name format is incorrect. Okay, so on the else statement, we're going to just uh, sanitize this off a bit. We'll do connect, oops, bleed now. Connect real escape string name. <coughs> and then we're going to run a query to check to 
see if the uh, name actually exists or not. So the query is as follows, it's select character ID from the user characters table where the character name equals the name variable and we're limiting it to one. So if we come over here this is what we're selecting and this is what we're checking it against. So we execute the query and we return the values into uh, the SQL variable and we just run an if statement of SQL num rows is more than zero else it doesn't so if it does equal um, more than zero we're just going to echo out saying yeah, character name has all already been taken else we're going to echo out character name is available <coughs> so beneath the function we're going to run our switch statement of post mode and if the case is equal to validate character I do believe that's what we put it down as oh no we actually wrote the whole character then we're just going to return the contents of validate character post name from there and we save that and over on our create character box we have a little output box here so we will add another class into here and just call it js character out <clears throat> so now if we come and refresh this create a new character and we'll put the OK and nothing's going to happen because I haven't put the on change event <coughs> so uh, we'll carry that on in the next video and we'll continue working our way down that list to finish it off so join me in the next video